Hi, I'm Christine Zernheld from the Marketing O'Clock podcast. Did you know that Google Ads can auto-apply recommendations on your behalf? Well, they can, and that should terrify you. These are called auto-applied recommendations, and today I'm gonna show you how to check your auto-applied settings in your account and make sure these are turned off. You've probably heard of recommendations in Google Ads and Google Ads says the recommendations page looks at your account's performance history, your campaign settings and trends across Google to automatically generate recommendations that could improve your performance. So these are just your standard run-of-the-mill recommendations, not auto-applied, what I'm talking about first. And accepting these recommendations, you probably know, improves your optimization score. Me personally, I don't really care about my optimization score. It's not gonna help me in the auction or anything like that. I know it's best for my business and I wanna make all of those decisions. So I'm sure you're familiar with the recommendations tab. It's very prominent here in Google Ads, right under overview, and they're really shoving recommendations down advertisers' throats all over the UI. Um, but here's a couple of things that they're recommending for me, create a broader audience, I'm probably gonna spend more and Google's gonna make more if I create a broader audience. Um, and expand your reach with Google Video Partners. These are typically lower quality placements, maybe something I would wanna test, but I doubt they would ever recommend turning something like that off because it's making them more money. And my favorite recommendation always in Google Ads is raise your budget. So big, beautiful blue CTA here, they want you to raise your budget. What they try to hide in this recommendations tab is the auto apply section. So this is your main recommendations tab here. And if you click over into this little clock, this is your auto apply tab. And you can go here to make sure your auto applied recommendations are turned off. So here in our marketing a clock account, we have recommendations for two categories, maintain your ads and grow your business. And they have again, a big blue, beautiful CTA. They want you to select all, or you could expand these and check them out, pick and choose what you wanna opt into. But I really think you don't wanna opt into any. Um, even if one looks like it's okay, Google Ads has now set a precedent that once you opt into a recommendation, they could apply, they could change the way that recommendation works in the future. So for this remove redundant keywords, it used to only work across single match types. So if you had like two phrase match keywords with the same exact text, it could remove it. Now it can look across match types. That's a completely different thing. And they changed it without really giving advertisers too much of a heads up. So me personally, for our agency, I'm never gonna opt into any of these. Really the only advantage could be saving you a little bit of time and I like to maintain control. I've got time, it's okay. Um, so again, some things that are going on here that I definitely would not opt into are add new keywords. I wanna approve every keyword in my account. That seems really scary. Add broad match keywords. Again, that could be dangerous if you're not doing it the right way. Use display expansion for your search campaign. No, thank you. So I wanna make sure that all of these boxes are unchecked. And another big tip, if you are um, an agency and you have an MCC account, or if you manage multiple Google Ads account, you can go to your MCC level and the same way you did in your individual account level, you can click recommendations and that clock was at the top right. And this is gonna bring you to a page where you can see all of your individual accounts and if they're opted into any auto applied recommendations and the last time they were applied and you can make sure that everything's turned off and no auto applies are running. So me personally, I always have this bookmarked and sometimes in the middle of the night, I'm like, ah, what if something happened and somebody pressed a button that they shouldn't have? And I log in and make sure all the auto applied recommendations are turned off and I don't have to worry about it. Another thing is if you find that auto applied recommendations are turned on and you wanna double check your account and make sure nothing crazy happened that you wanna undo, you can always go to your change history tab and filter by the tool that was used to change it. And you can filter by recommendations or auto applied recommendations. And you'll be able to see anything, any change that occurred in the account that was the result of an auto applied recommendation. Um, as you can see here, we've opted out so we don't have any. Um, but that's a nice little trick if you wanna make sure you're undoing anything. And again, these auto applied recommendations, you opt in once and Google Ads can make changes going forward anytime they want to, they occur regularly. So you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you have them turned off. It's nice and simple. And if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, I think you would love our weekly podcast. We make new episodes of Marketing O'Clock every Friday, rain or shine, so you can join us right here on YouTube, youtube.marketingoclock.com to subscribe, and we'll see you there.